Last season, the team to beat was the Brooklyn Nets. They were easily the best well-built team. Their big three of Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant were easily the best big three that we've seen in a while. However, they did have one problem last season, and that's that this big three rarely played together. Whether it was due to injuries or rest days, this big three would rarely suit up last season during the regular season. However, on the off chance they did play together, statistically, they were easily the best team in the NBA. We'll fast forward about one season and the Brooklyn Nets are currently struggling right now. And the problems they had last season are the same ones that they have this year. And if the Brooklyn Nets do not fix this, there is a very good chance that they could be getting bounced out the second round again. Of course, before I get into the content, if you guys could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and notifications on, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year and your subscription would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the video. I'm going to start off right by saying that being the 6th seed in the Eastern Conference isn't such a bad thing. However, when you're a team like the Brooklyn Nets that were really hyped up, yeah, it's kind of bad. The expectations that we gave this team were high, but to be fair, everyone thought they were going to pull through. And I think what's worse is that the Brooklyn Nets are only a couple losses away from not even being in the playoffs at all. Now, by the end of the season, I do believe the Nets will actually make the playoffs. I don't think they're going to miss it. That would just make no sense to me. However, the struggles they're currently having right now were similar to last last season and that's a problem. I'm not going to go too deep into this point but I already told you guys in the intro of the video that this team does not play together a lot at least their big three. In fact it is statistically proven that this season the Brooklyn Nets have the most changed starting lineup. Most of it is from two things either injuries or Steve Nash messing with the rotation. But do you notice that most teams and especially the contenders in the NBA have a set lineup? The Phoenix Suns, the Golden State Warriors, the Milwaukee Bucks their lineup is always the same for the most part. Obviously injuries can get in the way but when everyone's healthy we know what their lineup's gonna look like and yes injuries have struck this team but there's even been times in the game with late game situations that steve nash has made some questionable calls like in a late game situation versus the t wolves when cat was not having that good of a game and the brooklyn nets decided to run a small ball lineup versus carl anthony towns which obviously resulted in a loss i'm not saying steve nash is a bad coach because i do not believe that but i feel like he should have at least a set starting lineup another issue with the brooklyn nets is the fact that james harden has slightly regressed. Now at the beginning of the season, James Harden was struggling and ever since it looks like he's been fine but to be completely honest, he's not the same as he's usually been. Now last season, he didn't have to do as much. However, this season, it looks like the Brooklyn Nets are making him do a lot more. I also do want to remind you guys that James Harden came into the season out of shapes so that definitely does not help you. And then there was that whole thing at the beginning of the season where literally no one could shoot the basketball. Statistically, he is playing worse compared to other seasons but that doesn't shock me. And it's not to call him bad but when you play on a team with three superstars and a lot of good in-depth role players and yeah you're gonna lose a little bit of your stats it would be impossible for the brooklyn nets big three to each average about 25 points per game and i'm not gonna hold james harden these high expectations because he's playing on a super team now the brooklyn nets do have another issue and it involves kyrie irving obviously the whole vaccine thing does not help his case whatsoever and a lot of people have started to downplay this but it seems like kyrie irving is starting to be a little bit of a liability if you don't know what's going on kyrie irving is not getting the rona shot so basically what he's doing is he can only play in away games which is not how the season started because the brooklyn nets said they were going to stand firm and not let him play but they switched their mind now i'm not saying that you should get the shot or you shouldn't get the shot that's your political opinion i'm not going to speak on that but i would also like to keep a note that james harden and kevin durant have visibly been very frustrated with kyrie's situation and not frustrated at the nba no they're frustrated at kyrie irving which i don't blame them because if my teammate wouldn't get the shot and is affecting our record and how we're playing as a team yeah i'd be pretty pissed too he will especially be a liability in the playoffs because he's only going to be able to play about halfway for context if they went to a seven game series and they were the fifth seed or lower and if the series went to seven they would have him for less than half of those games and honestly i think kyrie irving could really be the deciding factor of a game seven because when james harden kevin durant and kyrie irving are all playing together at the same time they're a very scary team but the fact of the matter is that we're not going to get this whole team consistently together Together, which sucks because this team when they're healthy is so fun to watch but unfortunately things are starting to get in the way and it's not looking good for the nets with the way Kyrie is in his stance on this i don't think he's gonna get the shot so i think he's gonna continue to be a part-time player now don't get me wrong a kevin durant and james harden led brooklyn nets team isn't that bad but it's not the team to beat in the eastern conference it's not a team that would scare me if my favorite team was playing them in the finals or even if i was a fan of a team in the eastern conference like of the Bulls, 
of the Heat or Bucks, I wouldn't be afraid of this team. Kevin Durant, James Harden, and a part-time player in Kyrie Irving just doesn't cut it anymore. And if it doesn't show you the impact that Kyrie Irving has, then I don't know what to tell you. Again, I'm not the biggest political person. I'm not going to be that big-ass advocate that tells you you have to get the shot. But if I'm playing on a basketball team and I'm one of the reasons why we're not winning games, I would like to at least try to help out my team. Or at least try to justify why I'm not getting the shot. Now, currently at the time of recording this video, the Red Hot Phoenix Suns are playing the cold Brooklyn Nets. Suns are up by 12 with two minutes left in the third quarter, and with the way it looks, I feel like the Suns are going to win. I do want to remind you guys that the Phoenix Suns were six point favorites. I don't know, I just thought that was pretty interesting. And if you want to talk about long term problems for the Brooklyn Nets, James Harden did say he's going to be testing free agency. And a lot of sources have said stuff like, oh, he doesn't like living in Brooklyn, and that he doesn't want to be a part of the team anymore. Again, I don't know anyone in James Harden's camp. I don't have any good sources because I'm independent. But if these sources are true, then this could be a problem for the Brooklyn Nets. They will be down to Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, which isn't a bad duo. However, Kevin Durant is starting to get old. And in these upcoming seasons, he's going to eventually regress. And with Kyrie Irving being a player that you really can't rely on, it's not looking good. Now, I will say that they do have promising players and promising talent like people like Patty Mills and Cam Thomas. They have pretty good depth, but if we're talking about their main superstars, then no, they're not going to be a top team anymore. I know some people talked about the fact that the Brooklyn Nets could maybe be a team for the future, but that didn't make any sense to me. Most people were leading off with the fact about Cam Thomas, and Cam Thomas is a damn talented player, and I really think he could do damage for the Nets, but I wouldn't want to rely on him for about three to five more seasons unless he turns into a superstar, you know, because you have three guaranteed Hall of Famers on your team. The fact of the matter is, is that the Brooklyn Nets need to fix something or else it's not going to look good. With the way things are looking, this is looking like it's going to be one of the biggest what ifs in NBA history. We all hyped up this team and for a good reason. It would just really suck if due to personal reasons and some injuries that this is the reason why this team would never succeed. They're falling apart right now due to injuries they're falling apart because Kyrie Irving won't get the shot. They're falling apart because they're just not on the same page. Now, yes, the Brooklyn Nets can fix these problems. And I'd like to argue one of the biggest problems is Kyrie Irving as I see him as a liability. He's not going to get the shot and that's fine. So my question is, do you trade him at the deadline? Because you cannot rely on him and Brooklyn is a team that is trying to win now. So trading Kyrie Irving for just another guard or another superstar, then I think that would be a pretty good move. Now, no sources have came out and said this is actually true. I haven't seen anything really going on about it, so I'm not even going to try to run this narrative that Kyrie Irving is about to be traded. In the comment section below, I want you to tell me if you guys think that the Brooklyn Nets could win an NBA championship. With the way things are looking right now, I don't even see him making the Eastern Conference Finals. Don't get me wrong, they can pick things up and they have a really good team and I think they could do just that. With all that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like on this and subscribe to the channel if you're new with notifications on. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Take care. Peace.